Hello and welcome. I am trying to make a YouTube series. Since the recent announcement of FS22, which I will be getting and hopefully actually make videos on, uh, I figured I'd start a survival type series. We're going to start off Feldrin, and then how this series works is a new farmer. Don't know anything about really farming. I have a camera, you know, that kind of thing. I have five hundred thousand dollars because I won a chunk of money or something. I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll eventually come up with a better idea than that. But anyway, so I don't know how many episodes this will be. It depends on how well people like this. I'm really hoping that everyone. Well, I'm really hoping that this video and this series will actually get views, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, um, depending on how well it goes over, we'll determine how long the series is. I'm not going to go into heavy detail. I may transfer this over to a multiplayer series where I'm with one of my good buddies. If I do, then I do, I guess. Or I might start another series with it. Who knows? But anyway, let's go ahead and stop talking, or I'll stop talking, and let's get into it, shall we? Ah, uh, yes. Lovely, lovely open scenery. Oh, that's kind of cool. cool. So, I recently come into a chunk of money. And I decided that I'm going to just have fun with it and try to turn five hundred thousand dollars into five million dollars. Can I do that? I don't know. I can eventually, I'm sure, but how? I have no idea. But I figure, you know what, I'll get me a camera, I'll bring, bring it along, and film it as I go. Now, I just landed not long ago, I've been in town for a couple or three days. Uh, well, I guess I did land a couple or three days ago, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I just landed at the airport, not too far from here. And I got a taxi, or a cab, or whatever, Uber, I forget what it was, he dropped me off at this piece of land that was for sale. And the owner was supposed to meet me here, but they're not here. It can be either very concerning or not very concerning. Depends on how you look at it. The owner is relatively old, nothing against that, but, you know, he's in his late 80s, son, seems like, so, he could just be, you know, slow, the older you get, the slower you get, for the most part. So we got some potatoes here, and sugar beets here, that's great. Right, so, um, I'm going to stop recording and call the owner and talk to one of them, and basically just tell them that, yeah, I'm, I'm going to buy it. So, I'm going to need to make a few calls and get some stuff lined up, and get some equipment ready, and have it shipped here, and so on and so forth, but... I like what I see. I'm gonna start by uh, having a mobile home brought in, I guess. There's a mobile home dealer right down the road. It's not very popular around here, it seems. But, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway. Uh, I will pick this up later on. So it's raining, 
I've spent quite a bit of money, as you can tell. I've already jumped out and unstrapped everything. Uh, this is a cedar combo that I got. I also have a subfloor there. So the plan is that I can hopefully get. Um, I'm going to start out with mowing because that's the cheapest thing that I can do. I'm not sure that I'll be able to make much money doing that, but I know that it's the cheapest thing that I can get into to start with. Then I'm going to venture into some low crops. Now, I do have a plow, I do have a subsoiler, so I can actually start doing like barley, wheat, that kind of stuff right away. If I wanted to. Let's get this on hold. Go. And that way, you know, it'd be, eh, it'll work. Now, I do have this tractor. It's, um, everything that, that I got here, I actually found at a auction. I've got more stuff, or not an auction, but, um, someone was thinking about putting this up for sale at auction, and I just, called them and said, like, hey, how much you wanting for it? How much you looking to get out of it at auction? They told me 150k, I gave them 175. But some of this stuff is brand new, some of it is like new. The tractor is a classic tractor that uh, isn't made anymore, so yeah. I love this tractor. It's not high tech. I don't care. It's simple. It runs. It gets the job done. There is nothing fancy that can go wrong with this. It is a diesel motor. It goes. It runs. There is no fancy computers that tells it exactly how many ounces of fuel to use per cylinder or how many droplets of fuel to use per cylinder. Like the new age crap. I can actually work on this tractor if I ever get around to getting a garage built and a house. Yeah. Anyway, so I can't do it now, obviously, because it's raining naturally. But I've got some things lined up. We've got the house coming today. It's supposed to be coming today. I hope. But I've got the house coming today. I've got a crew coming out looking that I well, got a crew coming out to set up a garage for me or a building or a shed or something. Tell me how much it's gonna be, so on and so forth. And then obviously, you know, I've got, you know, the rest of the time to work on my fields. So, yeah. For now, I'm going to sit in the tractor until it's self raining. Which hopefully is soon. <sighs> I'm ready for a nap. Anyway, I will pick this up later on, so I will talk to y'all in a bit. So, it stopped raining a few hours ago. It looks like it's freaking rain this new time again, but I went to, I went ahead and, uh, well, if I didn't record having this installed, it's got a red roof on it. I ordered one with a green roof. But I don't really care. It doesn't really matter. It looks fine to me. I'm not going to really see the roof all that much anyway, so it's whatever. I kind of wanted to get a building, but this was a lot cheaper. So, yeah. That is what it is. Now, I don't have everything organized in its final location or anything like that, and this is not final either. I've got the concrete 
gorge right there, which was not really that hard to do, surprisingly. And while we were doing that, I had a contractor come in and Bob, Bob failed for me. And then plant it with the seed that I bought. This one is planted in grass, so it will be the same grass as this, and that is planted in wheat. I've got a friend of mine that uh, lives actually right on the road. We met yesterday. I'm calling him a friend anyway. Neighbor, friend, whatever. Anyway, um, he asked me if he could uh, plant the field in wheat. And I told him, for a fee, sure. I want half the field. As straw. So, he agreed. And he agreed that when he brings his combine harvester, he will uh, only take half the field. So, I'm going to mow the rest of the field. Even though that's kind of counterproductive, because I can get, honestly, more straw with... A combine and just like I could have charged him for half the field worth of wheat and got the straw as a bonus but I don't know I decided not to I decided to do it a different way I may change my mind again I don't know we'll see but that should be in in a few months until then we have a lot of things to do I had a call earlier about a job that um, someone needs done, and yeah, before I uh, come into the chunk of money, I actually did run a construction company, so obviously I wasn't really making much money at it, but you know, whatever. So yeah, um, let's kind of that, I guess. Anyway, uh, I really need to set this up a little bit better, to be honest with you. I'd like to have a porch and all this stuff, but that can come at a later date. Took the tongue, but they didn't take the dang wheels. And the wheels are in the center. Why are the wheels in the center? Whatever. Anyway. So that's all been hooked up. It's ready to go. I got a bed and stuff in there. Which I'm fixing to go to bed. It's getting kind of late. Sun fixes to go down. I'm going to go to bed and get up bright and early in the morning and go look at the job. I contacted the dealership up the road. They have a pickup truck, which is somewhat rare in these parts, apparently. But they do have a pickup truck. So I'm going to buy that, and hopefully, it's a big enough truck. They didn't really tell me what kind of truck, but hopefully, it's a big enough pickup truck that I can haul this with it. This is a big, heavy duty truck trailer. So I need, I really need something like a dump truck to all this, to be honest with you, but tractor pulls it just fine. Um, it's not really designed to be pulled behind the tractor, but, you know, it works, so. It ain't broke, gonna fix it, I guess. Anyway, I will catch y'all in the morning. I'm going to bed. Good night. So much for bright and early. I overslept. Holy crap. Anyway, I got woke up by a phone call. My bed is really comfortable. So I'm going to go down here to the dealership. You can run down the road a little bit. It's not that far. A couple hundred yards. 
300 yards, 400 yards, something like that. I don't know, half a mile, let's just call it. Roughly, but yeah. Anyway, um, so I'm going to look at this truck. I hope that it's a big pickup truck. An actual, like, heavy duty truck. I doubt it. But, we will see. And then, yeah, um, I'm going to go look at the job. So, if it's not, I guess I'll just buy another trailer that it can pull. So, I guess we'll see. Anyway, I'm not going to record in here. They don't seem to like being filmed. So, I'm going to honor their wishes, I guess, and not record. So, be back. All right. This is the truck that they got. I didn't figure it would be a heavy duty truck. It's got a V8 in it, but it doesn't look like it should have one. It looks like it should have maybe a V6, but oh well. Slide speed. It works. Kind of basic. I kind of like it for being basic. So. Yeah, so let's see. I don't really remember where the map is on this phone. That means record. So give me a second. Got it. Okay, so I am trying to use a app to record my map on my laptop. Let's see. Uh, the job that we were going to go see about is up here I think right out here to see about doing something this is a uh, they specialize in import and export stuff I need a bigger truck than this even though this one is fine for what I'm doing now it will not be fine for what I'm going to be doing in the, in the future. So, yeah. Uh, we are here. That's the GPS. It has this app map thing that uh, the store owner told me to download. Pretty cool. Got all the uh, fields listed. It's got everything I could possibly want listed. So, all right. Now, we are here at the shop, the general store, shop, whatever. Let's see. And, yeah, I'm going up here and I'm going over here to look the job. So, basically, we are going to go up the mountain. Setting the cruise control while driving is probably not such a smart idea. Not looking anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna do 35 because that's what this truck feels like it's comfortable doing. I'm gonna get there by going this way. Pretty sure I can get there by going this way anyway. Speed deep up the hill.
Running a little bit late. I think it's like we put out the rope. Yeah, I'm running a little bit late. It's been 30, I was supposed to be there five minutes ago. Hopefully, they're not too bad, but. I just blame the fact that I gotta go up a steep hill. At least I'm not taking the tractor, right? Hmm, <laughs> that would have been even worse. Can you imagine trying to pull that heavy trailer with the heavy tractor on the back? Alright, so I'm supposed to meet Far Dude. And his house down here. It's supposed to be there at 10.30 and it's going to be about 10 minutes late. I don't really care. There we go. I won't film, but I'll be back. Okay, so I have a new good friend now. <laughs> that took for absolutely ever. But I don't mind. Let's uh get back in the truck. I said I can go out this way. So I'll go out this way and be a little closer to my goal of uh, the import service. But Flybird! Holy crap. I said I could go out this way. I definitely shouldn't go out this way. It's kind of obvious. Holy crap. I'm going to need a four wheel drive just to get up here. I'm assuming he's going to want this to be out, which is not really that big a deal. We talked about farming, we talked about fishing, and yeah, stuff like that. So. Obviously, talked for a long time. We got there at about 10.30, and we're leaving, or I'm leaving, at 16.38, so. It's a long talk. But I enjoyed it. So, which is kind of the important thing, right? Now let's go see about getting a truck import imported.
Good enough. No, I'm hanging out quite a bit, but I don't really care. So, let's see. I'm guessing it's this building count. Oh. Yeah. You know the drill. Roughly an hour later, I have a truck on the way. It's going to be here in a few weeks. According to what she told me in there, but yeah, I'm gonna have me a new pickup truck. It's gonna be a little bit big for over here, probably, but it will be fine. And the camera battery is running low, so. And we'll turn it off and uh, we'll pick it back up tomorrow morning. And I guess that'll be the end of episode one, and I'll uh, catch y'all on episode two, which we'll pick up tomorrow, maybe. We'll kind of do this like a vlog style, I guess. Sort of. Anyway, I'll catch you in, in the morning or tomorrow, or whatever. Hey, one last thing before I go for the night. And start episode two tomorrow, uh, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I hope everyone's enjoying the videos, and I'm sure everyone has already heard this ten bazillion times. But you know, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell, turn on notifications, yada 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 yada, all that stuff. Because of the way that YouTube works, you like a video, you like video content, YouTube makes videos, you're wondering where the content is. Well, YouTube decides not to tell you when so and so uploads new videos because YouTube. So, anyway, that's all I was going to say. Yeah, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all that stuff, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye for now.